Yeah, I'm with it to all friends online. Welcome you all back. I hope that you all had a good Kushali month. Kushali Mubarak to you all once again. We are back to our session, which we had started based on some questions Nachis had received. And along with those questions, what we were doing, we were taking the Ginan. And along with that, we were discussing the answers of the question with the help of the Gina. And we had reviewed quite a few verses, and Naveen Saiba has posted those lectures on the group. So all those who are on the group must have heard it, reviewed it. So today we will take a step forward. So these are the three questions which we were focusing. We are still on how do I love Imam? And inshallah, today we will complete all these three questions, which are what is happiness of spirituality like? And what does it mean, ishq akkal bulaya in abu teri muhabbat lagi ginan? So I would like to invite Naveen Saiba, who is going to sing the ginan. जी <laughs> ए सुनो अल बेला मैया तू माना बीच लावो मेरे साहेब अब ते रिमोहब O oh my Lord, O oh the beautiful, O oh the lively and vibrant, create mercy for me in your heart, O oh my Lord. A.G. Chan Chal Chala जो बनामत वाला चल चाला जो बनामत वाला मोहब्बत माना में लावो मेरे साहे बा अबते रिमोह बतलागी ओ माय लॉर्ड यू आर फुल ऑफ मिस्ट्रीज इंटॉक्सिकेटेड एंड वाइब्रेंट विथ यूथ क्रिएट लव फॉर मी इन योर हार्ट Oh my Lord, shukran lila alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. So these are the verses which we will talk about. In these verses, we are seeing that the peer is calling Imam a beautiful girl. And he's describing the beauty of a woman's, you know, woman's body, that you are so beautiful, lively, vibrant. And then he is requesting this beautiful girl, create mercy for me in your heart, oh my Lord. And then he's calling him, her, oh my Lord. And then he says that you are full of mysteries, intoxicated and vibrant with youth. Create love for me in your heart. 
Now we all have learned that Imam is Marde Mutallak and we all are Naris. How come in this Ginan, this is the one Ginan in which Peer is actually calling Imam a beautiful girl, a beautiful, vibrant youth, lively girl. Now this is perplexing. Why Peer would change and talk like that? So yes, we are looking for answer. Why Peer is saying that? But let us review some other Gnanic words to help us build this point that this is the different Gnan than other Gnans. And in this Gnan, Peer is saying, Eji uthi Allah na gure banda tu sutte saji raat na ka jori jivne bana na ka samra saat shah jo mani aro teni kai jen ke subhe jagan. Subhu na jagya ten kai you did not wake up in the morning and remembered Allah, but slept the whole night? He is asking. Neither you cared for the soul nor prepared any provision to take along? Only those earn the pleasure of the Lord who wake up in the morning. Surely, Peter is actually talking to the Jamaat, teaching them, telling them, how important it is to do the ibadat of Baitul Khaya, the ibadat of Nurani time. It is extremely important not to miss Baitul Khaya ibadat. Isme Azam is that supreme name which Imam gives to his Jamaat, those who voluntarily come forward to seek Imam's closeness, to come close to the Imam's loop. And Peer is telling them that. How come you are not waking up, right? And then he says, those who do not wake up in the morning will not receive the huris. Huris are the heavenly women. And Quran talks about it, this hura, right? That those momini who go to paradise, they will be rewarded with huras. So here we see in this ginan that Peter is talking about the term hura, which is mentioned in Quran. So these women, beautiful, heavenly, nurani, luminous women will be rewarded to Mominis. And Peter is saying, if you were to not come to Ibadat uh, time, sit in Ibadat, don't do Bandagi, you will not get Huras. So we as women, we are going to get Huras. Those brothers of ours also get Huras. So what is this Huras all about? So we are now kind of confused in terms of gender. When Peer is calling Imam a beautiful girl, and then he's saying, oh, Mominins, if you don't do Bandagi, if you don't wake up in the Ibadat time, you will not going to get the Hura. So who are these women we are talking about? Then in this Ginan, the Peer says, Eji Sami Hath Jalyani Laj Arjo. Alakhal, alakhal tame prem no par free. Karani Karine Amne Panjo Amechi Gunega Mehen Karo Morasanya Abra Sharanatamari. Lord, now that you have held my hand, preserve my honor. O unknowable one. Alak Lakhao, Alak unique. So the translator has on the smiley heritage side has said, O unknowable one. So very humbly. He is knowable. It's not that we cannot know him, but he's so unique. He's very unique. Yagana, unique, that it is hard. It is difficult to understand, to comprehend the noor we are talking about. So, okay, this is the translation, so we'll take it. Oh, unknowable one, tell me, what is the intensity of love? Show me your affection and marry me. Marry me. Now, the word spiritually has been added. It's not in the Ginan. Show, show me your affection and marry me, although I am sinful. And then have mercy on me, my Lord. I'm helpless and dependent on you. So translator has done what best he or she could do. But Peer in the Ginan is saying that preserve my honor. Marry me. Though I am sinful, but marry me. 
Now here, it is doing the venti as if Peer is a woman and Imam is a man. And Peer is asking, marry me. Again, Peer has shifted. Let's look at another verse. Now in this Ginan, Peer is saying, Eji bhar jo ban maro aviyo sami ekla nahi re rehvai. Bahar javanu eb che nika kari parano ho rai. Mehra karo mora saaya abra sharan tamo. Lord, now that I have reached a mature stage. Again, the word spiritual is not in the Gina, but the translator has added it. Now that I have reached a mature stage, I am Bharjovan, vibrant youth, this young girl, right? I cannot live alone. I even cannot go about without inviting gossip. Everywhere when I go, you know, there's gossip. Because why? Because you're so beautiful, so vibrant, so beautiful. O Lord, pronounce the vows and marry me. And the translator says in bracket, spiritually, have mercy on me, my Lord. I'm helpless and dependent on you. Again, Peer in this Ginan is saying that I am that beautiful girl. I cannot go out. You need to marry me because I depend on you. So it is so amazing that Peer in different Ginans talks in a different way. This is a mystery. This is a secret. This is a something we need to know. How do we process this teaching which our Peer my Bab has given to us? And of course, we are talking about love. And all these verses are about love. The Peer is so much in love with the Imam that he is in different ways uh, doing, giving, uh, doing this supplication to Imam and asking for one and one thing, which is to marry me. Marry me you know, would be merging in Imam, Pana fil Imam, becoming one with Imam. So these are all different uh, references of different Ginans in which Peer is saying this Venti to Imam. Now let's look at the Quran. This is some verses uh, from Surah Rahman, 56, 58, 72, and 74, and 76. Surah Rahman, very interestingly, is called Bride of Quran. This chapter, the title of this chapter is that it is the bride of the Quran. Again, the concept of young, beautiful, vibrant girl who is ready to get married. And Surah Rahman is a Rusul Quran. Surah Rahman is the bride of Quran. We all know Surah Fatiha, mother of the Quran, right? But Surah Rahman is the bride of Quran. And I've selected a few verses and let's read that. It says, in heavens, women limiting their glances. You know, the way culturally we would say that, you know, the beautiful young women will not ever look at, give eye contact. They'll be always kind of, you know, nazare juka ke baat karna, right? So those types of women are there in the heaven. They are limiting their glances. They are untouched by anyone. No man or jinn has touched them. They are pure, they are virgin, they are beautiful. And then it says, these are hoors, these are hura, these heavenly women. They are like pearls and rubies and coral. They are so beautiful that the example of these women has been given as a, these beautiful stones, rubies and pearls. Then the next verse says that fair ones reserved in pavilions. Gori rangat ki hure jannati khaymo mein rehne waliya. They are beautiful, they are you know, uh, fair ones, and they are living in uh, pavilions. Jannati chemo wali. There's a specific place in the Jannat where they are living. Untouched before them by men or jinn. They are pure. They are pakiza. Nobody has touched them. Now, reclining on a green cushions and beautiful fine carpets. How oh, amazing that imagination. If you were to imagine, there is a heaven. And in this heaven, there is, again, we are talking about cushions and couch in green color. Didn't we know that these things exist in the physical world? How come Allah is talking about this reclining on green cushions, these beautiful women? This is mind boggling. And Peer is also talking about in our Ginans in different ways, how Imam is beautiful, then he says he is beautiful. Now, what is the secret behind it? 
So these, these are the two verses which we are trying to understand from Eji Abateri Mohabbat Alagi, that Eji Chel Chabila Suno Alvela Maya Tuman Bichilao. Eji Chel Chanchal Chala Jogan Matwana Mohabbat Man Bichilao. Very interestingly, if we were to talk of this beautiful girl, this Hura, you will be so surprised to know that in um, Equanus Safa, in English it is the brethren of purity. In one of the letter, which is written, it says that hikma, wisdom, is such that it only can live in a pure and cleansed soul. If somebody wants to learn the wisdom, we all know tavi, right? Wisdom is tavi. There are very many levels of tavila. There is tavil, dar tavil, dar tavil. And tavil is wisdom. If we were to talk about wisdom, wisdom can only dwell in a pure, wow, cleansed soul. Those souls who are purified, who are untouched, who are beautiful, they are the ones who can truly learn the Tavilat. Why? Because wisdom is like a bride. Wisdom is actually like a bride. And when we talk of bride, bride actually needs her own chamber, her own pavilion, her own place to be there. Because she's a bride, she needs all what is required. She's so beautiful, she's the one who is in demand. She's so Gori uh, Rangowali, right? She's so beautiful, heavenly woman. She's a bride. She is the one who has all the treasures of the beauty. Similarly, when we talk of Tavil, when we talk of wisdom, Wisdom can only be learned by those souls who are empty from inside. Now how, what does emptiness mean? If in the heart and the soul, worldly love is there, love of Imam cannot come because that heart, that mind is actually still in love with the dunya. Dunya and Imam, they cannot be together. Imam says in his farman that in one, uh, Country, there cannot be two kings. So if there is a soul which is pure, which is clean, in that soul, wisdom can live. Why? Because wisdom is like a beautiful bride. Wisdom, which is al-hikma, will only dwell in a pure and pure and cleansed soul. Wisdom is like a bride for whom an empty chamber is needed since she comprises the treasures of the hereafter. So this she is actually wisdom. And you'll be so shocked that nowadays we all learn this Tavili knowledge, right? We are learning so many different Tavilas from different scholars and we are enjoying learning this knowledge. But even in Christianity, you know, it talks about this heavenly being, this woman, and they call her Sophia. The name for her is Sophia. Sophia is the one who is the, her name is taken as symbolically as a heavenly being, but the inner meaning, the deeper meaning of Sophia is Tavi. So when our peer is saying that Yamala merge me in you, in reality, it is talking about that Yamala I want to be one with you, meaning I do want to know all your secrets. What are those secrets? Recognition of Imam. Whatever, however, Imam's Imamat is going on in this whole universe. When a Mormon and Sadiq merges with the Imam, they come to know about all the secrets of Imam. There is nothing hidden. There is no way between that Mormon and then Imam. They become one with the Imam. How did this world came to existence? What is Ruhani Tajirba? How one can climb up the ladders of this Ruhani? All becomes known to that moment asari. And that moment here, we are taking as an example of our Pir Maima. 
because we studied different verses of our PMI bar, teaching us that how much they are in love with the Imam. The question was, how do we learn love of Imam? Our peers are telling us that the love of Imam is actually through true knowledge. The knowledge which will give us the tawi, the deeper meaning. If we were to have the knowledge of the tawi, then our soul is such pure, park, untouched by anyone. And in that soul, in that being, that tawi will be able to realize the, all the ill concepts, wrong concepts will be removed. It will be empty vessel. When it is empty, the nuraniyat will enter. The batiniyat will enter. How? In the form of true knowledge. That is the first and the biggest step. So when Peer is saying, Parano Mara Mola, Vishwa Kumari, in reality, Peer is talking about, I want to know all your secrets. I want to have all the knowledge of all the realities and recognition. I want to have marifat of you, Mola. Because how can you be in love with somebody if you don't know that person? There has to be some attribution, some characteristics you see and you fall in love with that person. But this person has this and I really love that. So Peer did have knowledge. But all this Peer was doing to do, achieve what? To teach us that this is the path I had taken to learn about Imam's secrets. And I have fallen in love with him so much that I just do not want to exist without him. And then he says, Jagan Hara Jagju. Subhan Jagan, the Ginan I just read, right? That those who wake up in the morning, they are the ones who will benefit from the Didar of the Imam. So we thought the Didar is only to do with the vision. Our being is not only related to just eyes. We have more than just one sense. With all our senses, when we seek this knowledge of Tawil, that bride is ours. We then marry that bride, meaning our soul is empty of any worldly thoughts, any superficial knowledge, and that empty vessel will be filled with this beautiful bride, which is Al Hikmah. So that was the one answer. And let's go to the next one now. Now, this is interesting one. What is the happiness of spirituality like, right? So for that, let's review Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah's Farman of 1945, which he gave to all the missionaries in um, Africa when this uh, conference was held in Dar es Salaam in 1945. And Imam is saying that peace Saladin and the Ginans have done great advantage, that there is a sense of joy in anybody who understands the smiley religion, he understand, understands that instead of crying and being sad, it is a constant, constant and greatest pleasure that any human being can have. In our tariqah, there is no sadness. It's just longing for the Imam wanting the didar of imam closeness of the imam and due to that we shed tears not because of any other thing because we are so much in love that we express our love with giri but our tarika is full of happiness and joy celebration and then imam says such joys of the spirit and soul cannot be explained to the people who do not know those who do not know they will never understand and that's what our peer said. When peer was asked, what peer said? Gunge sapna paya. How can you tell somebody who do not know? They will not understand it. And then uh, Mola is saying, everybody must go in himself and know it. We all have to seek knowledge to do what? Emul yakin, then go to anul yakin. Enter into the own personal world. Why? Our peers told us, atmaram tame bada ginan. But nobody has recognized it. Atma has all the knowledge. So how come it is my Atma and I am not aware of that knowledge? 
because there is a veil, veil of this physical world, physical body. But then we are learning, we don't have to wait to be dead to be able to remove this veil. We can do that during the lifetime. Mutu kabla antamutu. Die while living and remove that veil. And how will that happen? The first step is early morning ibadat. Ibadat of isme azam. And it is that isme azam ibadat which makes us go towards the knowledge, seek knowledge, understand all what is happening in ibadat. How do I progress in ibadat? What is limiting me in Ibadah? But then how do I know the joy of spirituality? Mola gives us answer. Mola says, a child of, may, a child of seven may ask, what is the pleasure of sexual union? You cannot explain to him. A child will be asked, what is the pleasure? You cannot, there is no way you can explain to him. The child may think it is music or a toy. You may talk as much as you like, but he would not understand. So if we decide to stay at a early stages of knowledge, we'll keep listening, keep listening, keep listening, but we'll never get to it. Because Imam is clearly giving us the example and we all are adults here. If a child of seven years old is asking that kind of question, how and what can we tell? We will only will give examples. There is no way we can let that child know until that child grows up and experiences it himself or herself. Similarly is the principle which is applied to Ruhani. That in Ruhani, the Ishq peer is showing to us, talking about that Ishq can only happen if we progress ourselves on the stages of Ilmul Yaqeen, Anul Yaqeen, then only we can get to the certitude of the truth. But the first stage is the hura. We got to have this heavenly beautiful women, al-hikmah, this knowledge. So I hope that this is this answer suffice that if anyone asks, tell me what is it like? Nobody can explain. Gunge sapna paya. And Imam clearly beautifully says in Bethul Khyal Farman, it is yours to keep. This joy is yours. You cannot express it. You cannot give it to others. Even if people want to tell others, they can't. There is no vocabulary to talk about it. It is something to experience. But again, that's the later part. The first part is the knowledge. How amazing that realization is that through this gina, we are realizing the importance of, again, knowledge, recognition of imam. Next verse. Eji teri ramazaka piya mein hu divana. Ishka akkal bhulayo mere sahib ab teri mohabat lana. Ji zinat sahib. Eji teri ramazaka piya mein hu Diwana Tiri Ramaza Kawa Pia Mehu Diwana Ishka Akala Bula Bo Mire Sa Eba abate di mahaba talagi. Oh, my beloved, I am in madness for the love of your mysteries and secrets. Love for you has overwhelmed my intellect. Oh, my Lord. Shukran lila alhamdulillah. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So I am in madness for the love of your mysteries and secrets. Mark these words. Peer is not saying that I'm in madness for your didar. Peer has had didar. Peer is teaching us that the journey to didar 
with the lika mulaka milan actually is in learning the mysteries and the secrets and that is through knowledge and then he says love for you has overwhelmed my intellect now here generally we think that ish is question which is asked is the ish better is it above intellect and when we read imam sharma imam talks about intellect 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 we don't see imam as per se talking about ish we commonly hear in ginans imam sultan mashah has talked about ish but there is a confusion here right is it ish more important or intellect and you know generally i would hear this why do we need to learn this knowledge i love imam is it not enough i love my maula i have a strong love of imam is it not enough so today let's get the answer to that question when peer is saying ishq akal bhulaya that his ishq was so powerful that he forgot about the intellect so what is the relationship of love with intellect so let's review this hadith of prophet muhammad and it has been transmitted from imam muhammad al-baqir alayhi salam that he has said that the prophet muhammad said when god created the intellect he interrogated him and said to him come forward he came forward and then he said go back he went back meaning what it sounds like funny why prophet muhammad is talking like that come here it came go back it went back what does that mean this was farman bardar the intellect was farman bardar then he said my honor and majesty i did not create a creature more beloved to me than you and then he says and i will not perfect you perfect what the intellect i will not perfect you except in him whom i love but you alone i will command and you alone i will prohibit you alone i will punish and you alone i will reward all what we think of about reward punishment progress it is to do with intellect but which intellect allah loved the one who was farman bardar when it was farman bardar what was said i will perfect you meaning there are darajat in intellect but whose intellect is perfected the one whom i love prophet says allah is saying that who allah loves he will perfect the intellect in him what does that mean a mu'min is salik who is farman bardar who is obeying the imam in him who is the lover of imam who follows all the farameen of imam based on conviction not on convenience what happens in that mu'min salik that arif the intellect is perfected let's look at mulana hazri imam mulana hazri imam is saying that participation of men's intellect in the practice of his faith and the individual search for enlightenment and happiness and the balance between the material and the spiritual world the partic- participation of men's intellect so our intellect human's intellect in the practice of our faith as well as our search so only having faith but not having the desire for the in, uh, individual search enlightenment <laughs> if a man who has an intellect that man has to use the intellect in practice of his faith in search of enlightenment and happiness and also have the balance between the material and the spiritual world but remember balance has a very deeper meaning but here in imam sharman what we are focusing is that it is the participation of man's intellect insaan apni aqal ko apne iman ke liye apni रूहानी तरक्की के लिए जब तक इस्तेमाल नहीं करता है अपनी अकल को देर इज नो प्रोग्रेस इंटेलेक्ट हैज टू बी यूज फॉर दीज थिंग्स 
And then Imam says, these are the premises on which the Jamaat must interpret and practice its faith. Ye wo hamare liye important bunyade hai on which Jamaat has to interpret and practice its faith. I give you this farman today because in various parts of the world, these questions are being asked. Jamaat is asking and Imam has given the answer. And these answers must be clear and shared and understood. So Imam is encouraging us to share this answer, have a clear understanding of it. And it has to be understood. What does it mean when Imam says participation of men's intellect in the practice of his faith and the individual search of for enlightenment, for happiness, and then keeping the balance between deen and dunya. All of this can happen only through intellect. Then there is another hadith, very important hadith. In this, uh, Prophet Muhammad is saying that Allah has said that, oh, the children of Adam, Allah has created you. Allah is al -hay. He is ever living. And he wants the children of Adam to become al -hay, to become one with him, to become ever living. And then this hadith continues to go further and he says that I am so powerful that when I say kun, it becomes. And I want to share that miracle with you. I want to merge you with me. You become part of me. When I say kun, it happens. Meaning when you become one with me, you say kun, it happens. So Imam is willing to share all his powers, all his miracles, all his secrets with Mu'min Asan. And this is what is being said to us by our Prophet in the Hadith. Another Hadith, finalizing, summarizing what we are talking about. Oh, my servant, obey me. The key is in ita'at, those who are obedient. When they are obedient, Allah says that I will let you enter in paradise. You will never die. When you become one with me, you go through the miracle of al Hay, ever living, you will never die. You will always be honored, never be humiliated. You'll be self-sufficient. You'll be one with me. The key is Obey me. So those who are doing the itaat are the ones whose intellect will be perfected. Why? Because of the itaat, because of the obedience, Imam's ishq, Imam's mohabbat will be upon us. When we are Farman Bardar, Imam says, I love my momini. I love my momini. So when we are obedient to Imam, his mercy comes and we are able to increase ourselves in knowledge. It is not our ability to get to the recognition of Imam. It is not our ability to increase ourselves in intellect. It is his mercy that comes upon us when we become Farman Bardar. When we become Farman Barda, his love comes to us. He helps us learn the knowledge and makes the intellect perfect. How beautiful that realization is. So this is the last verse, Ji Zina. Eji Mukhara Dekhya Tabamana Hara <laughs> Saheba Abate 
श्री महाबलागी ओ माय लॉर्ड पीर शम्स दस सेज ओपनली व्हेन आई वाज ब्लेस्ड विद द विजन ऑफ योर होली काउंटेनेंस माय हार्ट बिकेम सैचुरेटेड विद हैप्पीनेस शुक्रिया लाला अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह Allah subhanahu so peer is saying clearly openly not hiding that when i had the vision of mola my heart became full of happiness when i saw his face my heart became full of happiness now remember when we talk of seeing the face when we saw we talk of vision it is not just didar it is not just one sense it is having the knowledge of all the mysteries all the secrets of imam because didar didar also has darja now how do i say that when we see imam in darbar didar it's a zahiri didar it's a first darja then there is a batni didar then there is a nurani didar and peer here is talking about the most elevated didar so again what we are saying here that with knowledge we will be able to understand what is ishq and how the intellect is helped by mola to help us learn to grow so we can get to his shanakhat we all want his hakiki shanakh and it is possible for those who are farman barda so this was the last verse and then i just had a slide to summarize that in discussing this gina it's so strange that i realized that how much of knowledge of quran actually he has given to us in this gina we never would have realized it until we discuss it like a, in the group with like minded friends he is talking about that aashiq ishq mein deewana hai and this is quranic verse which talks about majnu then he says our vision can find him we cannot find him but he finds us it is not our ability to get to his dida he comes to us righteous enters from the door and the concept of door given in hudud e deen didar of mola face of allah having the vision and then we learn this uh, zikr allah maghfirli warhamni walhikni bir rafiq al ala o allah forgive me and have mercy on me and join me with the companion of high companion on high this was a prayer of prophet muhammad on his death bed so all these verses we discussed in last actually two session and today we learned something new too so all this is interestingly just one gina 10 verses and sometimes when i look at it i feel i have not done justice to it there is so much more we can learn it is all imam's mercy that those seekers who are seeking this true knowledge that imam is giving us this madad to interpret to understand the ginans of our peers with the help of quranic hadith uh, quranic verses and hadith of prophet muhammad so we can understand what our peer was teaching us about actually knowledge so thank you for asking such beautiful questions may mola bless you for all your interest in true knowledge shukran lillah walhamdulillah shukran lillah walhamdulillah shukran lillah walhamdulillah subhanallah 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 shukran lillah walhamdulillah यहाँ पर um, साथी का एक कमेंट uh, है कि इट फील्स लाइक वी आर द चिल्ड्रन इन इल एज वी आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट्स लाइक सुल्तान मशा सैद वी कैंट एक्सप्लेन इट टू द किड्स सो व्हाट आई हियर यस यू आर राइट आई एग्री विद यू बट देन व्हेन वी से दैट वी डू नो वी आर नॉट किड्स the reason we are like kids right now we feel that way because we have not exercised we have not used our intellect so i hope that by listening to today's uh, lecture it is an invitation to learn to knowledge advanced knowledge to know about his uh, secrets at the level of knowledge 
so you can all of us we can elevate ourselves in higher ranks in higher understanding but the journey begins at the level of becoming mustajib meaning student i don't know and i need to learn ji subhanallah subhanallah sadhi ka sawal hai so without intellect or ilm love will not be enough all right so let's let's repeat that yes love is not enough why do i say that because we each one of us we are lover of imam and there is any doubt literally there is no doubt we all are lovers of imam then why our peers are teaching us why quran is saying what is saying if love were to be enough imam sultan mama shama our souls be sacrificed to this imam imam would have never said that don't make your iman such like such a tree if the wind blows this side the tree is go tree goes this way and if the wind blows this side the tree goes this way do not make your iman like that why would imam say that imam has said ilm wali ru darja ba darja upar chalti imam did not say mohabbat wali ru darja ba darja upar chalti imam said ilm wali ru darja ba darja upar chalti so answer is very evident actually ji subhanallah subhanallah isi saathi ka sawal hai so we should do giriya wazari as a heart of woman will that reach higher soon subhanallah very good question so giriya wazari is very important but again giriya wazari done without knowledge is incomplete so giriya wazari actually it's very difficult it's not easy to do giriya wazari giriya wazari comes easy to the heart when there is knowledge let me give you a worldly example right i'm going to give you a funny example too so let's say if we see somebody a handsome guy or a beautiful girl anyone regardless of gender we see somebody so beautiful that oh my god it's so beautiful i just want to possess hug this person and when you go near that person the way they start talking it is so um unlikable let me use proper words right unlikable ugly you know you say oh my god i can't handle listening to this person superficially they look beautiful but as soon as you went near you did not like that person so the love actually depends on knowing the attribution of that person there is no nothing like that love on first sight we hear that there is no existence of in it in reality it will die very quick if there is something like love on first sight no love the true love the deep love develops when you know somebody with their attributions so what happens in our ruhani journey when we are learning the attributions of imam for example i'm going to give you one attribution right of imam it is only imam who can help us in salvation no one else can it is only imam who can give us the nijat and we all have come to this world for what very clearly prophet has told us that we came to this world so we can recognize him he is a hidden treasure and he wanted to be found and that hidden seek to seek that hidden treasure is actually to know him to recognize him to become one with him to get to the salvation to get to the mukti it is only imam's miracle that he can give us mukti no one else how imam gives that mukti the more we learn the more we understand the more we fall in love knowing how merciful he is when we realize his mercy on the basis of the knowledge i'm telling you if we were to just keep our head in sajda and never get up it will not be enough shukra you know there's a beautiful verse in kalam e maula uh, maula ali says ek dam pe do shukra ne wajib haq ke jaan saans aata jata there's a like in in one breath you inhale and you exhale and you do two shukrana even then it won't be enough like our whole lifetime 
with every breath, if we said sugar, Mala says it won't be enough. Why? I'm giving my whole life saying sugar. Would that, that not be enough, Mala Baba? The reason Imam is saying that because we don't even understand why and how he is merciful. We don't recognize him. When we don't even understand his reality, his, his recognition, we are never truly shukr guza. And that's how we forget all the time. What is our biggest challenge? Our challenge is that we need to be shukr guza. We need to remember him, but we forget. Why? Because we have not recognized him. When we realize his mercy, when we learn about his beauty, we don't have to remember him. We will miss remembering him. When we sit in Ibadah, one hour will not feel enough. I wish this hour was longer. That will become our status. And that miracle can only happen through knowledge. It is in the knowledge that we will know how to lo love him. We do not know how to love him. We think, we think that we love him, but we don't. Ji. Subhanallah, If any friends have any questions or any comments, please come forward. You can unmute your devices and come forward. Yeah, <laughs> So, exactly my question. Exactly my question. Shukramala. So, is it a good idea to say that the connection of the human and the human connection is not a good thing? Good question. Very good question. Actually, answer is we have learned it. That how do we purify our iman? It can only be through akkal and ishq. When we learn this knowledge, we realize how much imam loves us, how merciful he is. His recognition, his all blessings were right in front of us. You know, the first firman of Imam Sultan Muhammad Shah, right? Mullah says that the miracles will be happening right in front of us. But those who are blind will not recognize those miracles. Imam talks about two types of mominis in Jamaat. In front of them, all these miracles are happening. But they cannot see these miracles. Why? Because they have never used their intellect. They have never learned this knowledge. How can they purify their love or purify their Imam? They are like those, Imam says in that Farman, blind. And then Quran takes it further. Quran says, those who are blind in this world, they will be blind in hereafter too. In fact, they'll be from far from reality, far from truth. So that Farman which says that you have to purify your intellect to give me the wordings of Farman Gulzar. Uh, Iman jo akkal ane ishq vade paak thai, to roo saate ek thai jai. So when Iman is purified with intellect and ishq, then the soul can elevate. Beautiful, right? What happens when we learn through knowledge, we realize what is Imam? How is Imam? What is our relationship to Imam? What does it mean to say higher I and lower I? How are we connected to that single soul? All these concepts are learned on the basis of knowledge. And when the knowledge increases, our humility, our shukr guzari, our ish automatically improves because we are learning. There is no food, like our, our being is at three levels, right? Physical, spiritual, intellectual. If we were to eat a tasty food, we will talk about, oh, the food was so good. And then I just give you example that when we sit in Ibadat and then you enjoy that Ibadat, you feel, oh, that hour was short. I wish it was longer. But then imagine the food of the intellect. It is the higher most. And if Momina Salik starts eating that food, they can never leave that dining table. 
they can never leave that tiny table. Remember in the Musa's story, the Mominin of the Musa said to, uh, said to Musa that we want you to bring man and salwa, mano salwa. Why were they saying it? Because once you start tasting that food, you do not want any other food. You want that best food, food for intellect. When that moment is salik gets that intellectual knowledge, true knowledge, the purification starts from intellect, spirituality, and physical. And at physical being, we stay in more remembrance because our love starts increasing, purified, becomes powerful. We don't have to remember him. We want to remember him. Earlier, we needed to be reminded. Now we are remembering him. Totally different state of mind and being. Surely that would purify our Iman. Our Iman will become strong because it is based on knowledge. It has a very strong foundation. Nobody can move that Iman. So I hope Guzar that helps. That's a beautiful Farman. Thank you for Thank you, Baima. Thank you. Uh Baima ek is or bulna hai. कि जैसे बोले कि मिराकल्स होंगे और जो इलम में रहेंगे अक्कल वाले रहेंगे वो समझेंगे तो जैसे अभी आप जो हमको सब ये इल्म दे रहे इल्म क्लासेस हो रहे तो ये भी तो मोजी साथ है ना भाई मां ये भी कि जैसा हमको समझ में आ रहा और हमको अली पापा हिम्मत दे रहे कि हम अटेंड कर सक रहे राइट भाई मां बिल्कुल सही है गुजा इट इज ट्रू लेकिन ये होता है कि जनरल क्लासेस में एक लेवल पे आके रुक जाना पड़ता है क्योंकि बहुत सारे जो है डेली केसेस होती है राइट सेटलिटीज होती हैं जिस पे बात नहीं की जा सकती है तो मुश्किल होती है तो जनरल क्लास में एक जगह आके रुक जाना पड़ता है इसलिए जो है हायर नॉलेज सीख करनी चाहिए जो प्राइवेट क्लासेस एडवांस क्लासेस होती हैं तो उससे क्या फायदा होता है कि आप जो है हायर कॉन्सेप्ट को लर्न कर सकते हैं ये शुरुआत थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू विच कलाम टॉक्स दिस कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ अकल इश कैन द रू इन ईमान गेटिंग वन आई डोंट नो वेदर माय ऑर्डर इज राइट बट आई थिंक सर्टेन कलाम स्पीक्स अबाउट इट Can you remember it offhand? No, I don't. No, I don't remember. But um, this was one the gina. Then Guzar mentioned the farman in which the relationship is mentioned of intellect and love. Yeah, and that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking, but my order wasn't right. I know the three things are connected, but um, I think we. I don't know whether we talked about it or I heard somewhere else that it is all like I'm finding the. A correlation between the ima, uh, between kalam, between farman, between between hadith, and between uh, farman. Like all, oh, everything is interconnected, and and if we are careful enough, we can we can see a link, like, and we can actually pick out the words from everything. But at the moment, I can't get it, but I look into it, and that's that's what's happening as we learn more and more that. Uh, we begin to see this necklace of gems it is there yeah. and how he has um, been so merciful to see because different humans learn differently you know some are visual some are kinetic you know different ways of learning so he has really taken care of whole humanity in all the knowledge that he has given us that we can all um relate at certain level and get together you know and the more we listen and and the more pieces of the puzzle we get it becomes a beautiful picture all right friends i'll see you next week then Yali madad, yali madad. Mala yali madad. Thank you, Mola. Is kajadin dunia mein de yali madad. Amin, Nasima. Amin, amin. Thank you.